I'm the director, estate agency owner of Home Sweet Home Estate Agents Fife. We are a small local family run business and that's that's actually what I'm very proud of. The importance of the brand for me is it's um, non-threatening. It's very emotive, very female in its kind of origins. From a personal point of view, I'm very much a local boy. One thing I always want to do is give something back to the town from which I'm from. What I've tried to do and have been part of, um, particularly was an employment skills programme. Briefly, what that involved was myself going into a community high school. It was helping them to actually prepare job applications, how to relax them, what skills you need, what to say, what to do. It just felt on a core level the sort of thing that I wish someone was able to help me when I was 16 year old, just to give them something back to the local community. Through the British Property Awards, uh, we were given the Gold Award for Best Estate Agent in Kirkcaldy, 2000 and 2021, and we've also just won it again before we moved to these premises. I'm just quite proud that um, we've done what we said we wanted to achieve, but we've not lost what it's all about, creating something that is ours to help people and anyone that comes into contact with myself will very much know what Home Sweet Home Estate Agents Fife is all about. I'm the owner and operator of Okai Canoe Limited. I've been kayaking and on the water for maybe around 15 years personally and I just love it and thought I want to teach other people. So the main unique point of Okai Canoe is that you can turn up with absolutely nothing, no equipment, no experience whatsoever. For me that's what it's all about, just introducing people to the water. Coming out on the water and enjoying it by the end of the session, I often see people that are really nervous, think that they can't do it and then by the end of the session they want to come out again or buy their own equipment. That's really satisfying to me and see, see people you know, achieving like that. 2003 I actually had a blue disabled badge, had a leg injury where I had a trapped artery in my leg and I had a, a fempop bypass which is really rare and quite dangerous. Since being disabled and at the age of 23 it just made me very determined to go on and achieve things and I love the water and if I can get other people out doing it and help their mental health then there's nothing else I would, I'd want to do. We're a local domestic um, customer and community focused uh, gas company. Myself and my business partner Alistair Graham, we've been friends since we're about 15 years old. We wanted to set a business up that was um, you know, something for the future, something that we can sort of provide for our families. With our experience and backgrounds, we came up with the idea of a, of a domestic gas heating company. Well, we've put customers in the community at the focus of everything we do. From minute one, we donate money to charity on the very first job up to this day on every install. And now what we've got is I've set up a thing called the Community Heating Project, which is aimed at helping people. There's a stereotype of people that need help or just maybe unemployed or, or ill health. Not anymore. People we're helping, they're all full-time workers. They're just really struggling. Things have got on top of them and the bills have gotten too high. We've got the advantage of if someone comes to us, and we look at their boiler and they discover it's a big fix, we can go further than any other, any other company because we can actually refer them to this and we can help them. And we go out there and we basically fix it free of charge. I think you've got to kind of got to give back, especially the more, the more we grow. And I like to think that we've done what we can in the community and I'm, I'm really happy with everything we've done so far.